How's it going everyone, it's Brave Voice here and welcome to the channel. And in this video we'll be showing you guys how to implement table view with expandable and collapsible sections. So uh, when you click on the header, the corresponding cell that belong to this section will expand and when you click on it again it will collapse and uh, you can try it out. And when you click on the corresponding cell, so here, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> You push to another view controller and you know you can configure this uh, view controller in any manner that you'd like so just to expand first of all I would like to thank SC for suggesting this video as I've mentioned before if you have any question or any suggestion at all you can just leave them down under the comment section below and we'll work on it as fast as we can well let's start create new project single view application I'm just gonna name it table view drop down next create before we start we are going to do the assess setup so I suggest you should pause the video and go download the link I prepare for you guys under the description below first all right once you've got the folder you can go to assets and then just open assess setup and you can drag background folder here in assess folder and these are just the images for each movie and next let's just create one folder so new group and i'm just gonna call it expandable header view right click on it we're gonna create new file which is a swift file next we're gonna call it section here we are going to implement a struct called section as to the data type for holding the data for the section so uh, we need three parameters. The first one is genre, which is a string. The second one is the list of the movies. So movies is an array of string. And the third one is the boolean called expanded. Next, we need the initializer. So init with these three. So genre, which is a string. And then uh, movies, which is also an array of string and then expand it, which is a boolean. So self genre equal to genre, self dot movies equal to movies, self dot expand it equal to expand it. So we're done with implementing the section data type. So next we are going to create our custom expandable header view. So we're gonna right click on this folder and then we're gonna create new file. This one is the Cocoa Touch class click next and it is a subclass of uh, UI table view header footer view and I'm just gonna call it expand double header view click next create we are going to implement a protocol so protocol which is expandable header view delegate and then we just need one function I'm just gonna name it toggle section I'm gonna name the parameter header and we're just gonna pass header as this type and then of course as well as the section the current section which is in next we need to attributes the first one is delegate of course is the type expandable header view delegate and uh, the second one is section so int here I'm just gonna implement a custom initializer so custom init we're just gonna take title which is a string a section which is int and the last one is delegate which is of course expandable header view delegate so self dot text label dot text equal to title and then self dot section equal to section and self dot delegate equal to delegate and we also need layout sub views we're gonna config a little bit of the style so super layout sub views first we are going to change the color of the text so self dot text label dot text color equal to ui color dot white and the next one is the background color so uh, self dot content view dot background color will be equal to ui color dot dark gray and next of course we need the initializer of the expandable header view so i'm just gonna type in it 
with reuse identifier super dot init with reuse identifier which is this one and then we're going to simply just add the gesture recognizer so our expandable header view will be able to detect whether it's clicked or not so self dot add gesture recognizer ui tap gesture recognizer uh, target which is self action selector and i'm just gonna name this function uh, select header action well next let's implement select header function so function select header action i'm just gonna name the same parameter here which is uh, gesture recognizer mm -hmm. just small g and then of course this is the type tap gesture recognizer and in this function when our header view is selected it will go directly to this function so we are going to just subtract the cell out from the gesture recognizer dot view and we're going to cast it to our expandable header view once we've got the cell we're going to call the delegate and we're going to call the toggle function we're going to pass in this header which is our self and then pass the section which is this cell dot section which is the current cell that is being selected and next we just add the required initializer perfect that's it we're done with the preparation for the uh, expandable header view and uh, if this is too much for you guys don't worry all right um, you will understand more and more once uh, we go through the tutorial so we are going to actually start by going to main.storyboard and then we just um, add the table so search for table view and don't forget to add constraints and we're going to add the prototype cell also uh, table view cell we're going to drag it in just right here and change the style from custom to basic and we're going to click on the table view control and drag the table view to our view controller data source delegate make sure from the connection outlets here you can see it right from here all right and then let's go to assistant editor and then control drag the table view inside our view controller i'm just going to name it table view next let's close the uh, assistant editor and then just select the whole controller here editor and then embed it in navigation controller go back to our view controller double click on the middle of it and I'm just gonna type in movies and that's it we're done with the representation of the application next let's go to view controller and of course we are going to implement UI table view delegate and uh, UI table view data source and um, we need one more thing which is the data so I'm just gonna name it sections which will contain the array of sections so you can just go back to the folder that you've downloaded open sections file you can copy the whole variable here and you can replace it right in perfect so this is just a variable called the sections and it's an array of the sections so one is the animation and list of the movies and expanded false and so on next let's implement the table view so the first function that we need is a number of section of course we are going to return the number of sections so sections dot count pretty straightforward and then the next is uh, number of row in each of the sections so return the sections at section dot um, movies dot count so this is the number of movies here perfect and the next is the height for header we are going to return the standard size for the cell which is 44 next is the um, height for each of the row this one will depend on the row that we want it to hide so if sections at index path dot section dot expanded then we're going to return 44 else we are going to hide this cell so return zero 
Next, we are going to need to add the height for the footer as well. This is just to um, separate each of the section, so it's easier to see. Next, let's go back up top to implement the expandable header view delegate. And then now we are going to create the custom view that we have made, which is the expandable header view. So view for header in section, we are going to create header, which is expandable header view. And then we're just going to set the custom in it here, passing the name of the section, so which is the genre, right? And of course, the current section, so it is this section here. Perfect. And delegate will be self. Then we're just going to return back the header here. Next, we are going to implement for the cell, so cell for row at let cell equal to table view dot dq from identifier here label cell and then we are going to set this cell the text title here to be equal to the movie the name of the movie correspondingly so sections at index path right at specific section and then dot movies at the specific row so index path dot row and we are going to return back the cell before we move on let's just uh, copy this identifier and then go back to main storyboard click on this cell go back to inspector and then just paste it in right here in the identifier enter and we're done let's go back to view controller next we are going to complete the protocol the expanding header view delegate which is the function called toggle section right and this function is exactly where we are going to implement the expanding and collapsing for the table view so first we are going to toggle the boolean value so sections at this section dot expanded will be the opposite side of itself so here we go next we are going to reload the rows in the table view corresponding to each section and of course it depend on the size of the movie array so for i in zero to sections at this section dot movies dot count here we are going to reload the rows so table view dot reload rows at index path at row i and uh, section at this section with dot automatic and last thing we need is the animation so just add table view dot begin updates and at the end table view dot end updates and let's run to see the result all right let's see so at first we change the color of the text and then the color of the background and of course we add uh, a little bit of the footer and then that's it that's pretty much it let's just try to click on the header perfectly working and then you know we just add we just need to add one more which is the when we click on the cell it will be pushed to another view controller so let's get back to it i'm just gonna create the same folder here create new group i'm just gonna call it simple vc right click on it create new file Cocoa Touch class next, which is a subclass of uh, UI View Controller. Let's call it uh, Symbol View Controller. Also create XIB file next. Create. Next, let's go to XIB file. Just add one simple image view. Okay, there you go add constraints go to the assistant editor control and drag the image view inside the simple view controller so i'm just going to name it movie image close the assistant editor go back to the simple vc 
and we just need one more attribute which is uh, the name of the image so image name string here and in view did load we just add one simple code which is setting the movie image will be equal to UI uh, image with the named image name and next let's uh, add the title so title will be equal to the same image name we need last is the function to initialize the image name so function custom init will take image name as a string and then we're gonna set our image name equal to the parameter image name oops sorry uh, dot image here and let's save the file also as the XIB save it and that's it we're done with the preparation for the simple view let's just go back to the uh, view controller add one more function when the cell is selected so did selected I believe here this select a row at so we are going to create simple view controller here and then let's set it by the custom init okay let's pass in the image name which corresponding in the sections array so sections at index path dot section dot uh, movie index so index path dot row next after the cell is selected also don't forget to deselect it so table view dot deselect row at this index path with animation okay and next we just need to push the simple view controller so self dot navigation controller dot push view controller we're gonna pass in simple view controller with animation and I believe that's it let's see the result and here we go guys uh, let's just try animation uh, superhero horror perfectly working and when you click on it it will push to another view controller and of course you can config this view controller as in any manner that you'd like to hold the data that you want and um, um yeah that was scary um anyway that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching to the end of the video and uh, if you find this video helpful please leave a like or subscribe and if you have any question or any suggestion you can just uh, leave them down in the comment section below and of course everybody just keep coding and we'll see you guys in the next one